we got breaking news. Chiefs get DeAndre. Obviously, he's not the DeAndre Hopkins that was on the Texans. But, you know, better, hey, better than nothing. You know what I'm saying? He's still a decent receiver. All you got to do is catch from Mahomes. All you got to do. Our receivers are down. Marquise Hollywood Brown, you forgot we had him. He's out. Rice, he's out. <laughs> Juju, he's dealing with the hamstring. He's out. Good well soon, all three of y'all. We got a rookie and worthy. And uh, 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 who else? McCole. You know, McCole uses the speed style. He just like to run. You know what I'm saying? He's not used to catching the deep ball like that. You know, in the slant and whatnot. I used to. He's used to the deep ball. That's what I meant to say. He's used to the deep ball, but he's not used to running the slants and whatnot. In the slot. DeAndre. All you got to do is catch the ball in the slot, bro. You're going to get the attention. It's going to open up Kelsey. Or if Kelsey's not open, it's going to open you up. Or vice versa. What do you do? Guys are back over w trade. Here and we begin the yeah, I heard it was either him or Cooper Cup. Don't matter. Guys, We're undefeated. We're going three Pete. This is confirmation right here. We're going to three Pete. <laughs> they are here. Uh, they are here. Yeah, here we go. Shefty Bomb, ladies and gentlemen. Shefty Bomb, Adam Shefter reporting the Titans and Chiefs are finalizing a trade that will send five time Pro Bowl wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins to Kansas City. The Titans will receive a conditional fourth round pick in the trade, which is expected to be completed today. Kmart, obviously, the world is working. The phone's here. Any yeah. any details you can fill in for us here on this? Uh, you got Kimberly. Right now, listen, it's a fourth condition. It's a conditional fourth round pick. We knew the Kansas City Chiefs. It's Super Bowl or bust for them, right? We understand that this is when you have Rasheed Rice injured, when you have uh, guys on the roster that aren't contributing to the way that you expect. Okay, Pacheco, sir. Go Wilson. Pacheco, we got Kareem Hunt. He's the running back number two. Sorry, Clyde. Them two in the wide receiver room. They had to make a move. Um, I thought Cooper Cup might have made sense here, but I like this move. Listen, the Chiefs with Patch Mahomes, give him anything, and he can make something. Yeah, all you got to do is just catch. He's Mr. O -Rely. He's still reliable, bro. I don't care how, how old he is. He could be 89 years old. He's probably still reliable, bro. All he, need, he don't need to run no deep routes and nothing. Just run the slot. We got McCole and Murphy for that. Well, so the, the question about DeAndre Hopkins is not how great he's been. The mm. question is how great he is. We have yeah. our wide receiver in the house today, Andrew Hawkins. Hawk. What does D Hop have left? Is it is his addition enough to put this team back where it's been the last couple of years? I, I, I think in some ways it's an upgrade from some of the other veteran receivers they've signed, like McCole Hardman, Juju Smith Schuster, Hollywood Brown, even. I think what DeAndre Hopkins I ain't paused the video. To oh. Patrick Mahomes in the intermediate portion of the field does give them the balance on the field, along with Travis Kelsey, to give him clear pictures. Like if you even look at it, what he did at Tennessee. And you look at just the incompletions, a lot of that was not the fault of his own. He still has a lot of juice left. And again, I, I think it's actually going to put this offense in a better light than we've seen it. So it's, I feel funny asking you this question. Does this put Kansas City? Because they're unbeaten. Right? Right. So we talk about the Chiefs like they were a team in trouble when the reality is they are the only team in the NFL without a loss. But I think we all saw the obvious flaws and we knew they needed to make a move. Is this move the one they needed to make? I mean, I think it definitely helps them. It doesn't change their team, though. They're still a very defense-centric team. I think the way that DeAndre Hopkins helps is he's going to move the change. You see yep. the highlights here. I just it's said that, yeah. a big play, explosive, like, don't get excited. We're not you know what I'm saying? We, you know what I'm saying? We got, we got, we don't even need to do that. I said we got Worthy and McCoa Hartman that specialize in running deep routes, bro. Just running fast and catching deep balls. That's all they do. And Jeff Sweet. We actually got, like, a receiver that runs the slot. Back to the Chiefs of old, where they're going to score 40 points a game. But we will be able to give that defense a lot more rest, uh, move the chains more, maybe more effective. Bro, this fly out. This is not summer no more. Why are you still in my house? Open zones and winning contested catches, which is incredibly useful. But this is not going to revamp their offense. This takes them from, in my opinion, it makes them the AFC favorite again. Right, we had seen Baltimore close the gap. We had seen teams coming after him. We saw Buffalo make the move with with Cooper to put themselves back in that type of conversation. For the, for the Kansas City Chiefs, this puts them back, in my opinion, as the AFC favorite. The last two games in particular, you saw Mahomes pressing. Right, he presses early, and and it is a different mindset when you're trusting your defense to be. The, the, you know, the, the anchor of your football team, it's hard. When you're talking about a possession receiver, big body, knows how to use his body, mm -hmm. he becomes another version of Travis Kelsey, but they can use him in different areas. Then it, allow, it allows Worthy, now you bring Pacheco back, you have, you have enough guys in the mix to make this offense explosive. Will he be the explosive piece? No. no. But will the other pieces be allowed to be more explosive? I yes. Think it forces defense Kelsey, yeah, that's what I said. 
it's gonna open up Kelsey. And if it doesn't open up Kelsey, then D Hop's gonna be open. What do you do? Cause I ain't no way y'all guarding both of them. I ain't no way. In the slot, y'all ain't bo guarding both of them. Unless Kelsey decides to be a blocker, which is like 2% of the time. Yeah, at the time, he'll pretend to block, then run a route. To make defensive coordinators sit there and think, okay, who do we have to figure, who do we have to at least acknowledge on the field? It is another key veteran, a good weapon, and that's why you have the, the young guys with the speed and everything around him. Yep. Yeah, it, it right sizes the weapons that you have. Yeah. He's not the catch and run guy. We have McCole Harmon for that. He's not the deep threat. We have Xavier Worthy yep. for that. Right. Even the load that you take off of Travis Kelsey yeah. now allows him, when you see that third down, you can't double track. Three peak of Hopkins is right here. That's right. What a week we've had for receiver trades, and it's not done yet, as, as Kmart just mentioned. The name Cooper. That's the biggest one right here. That's the biggest one right here. Three peak confirmed.